we can fag hard and ultimately it will mean that other players get a chop out and we've seen already Ralph's had probably more space than he has in recent weeks because of Cabello so on the halfway line, I'll give him some short options. He goes back to Russell Courtney. Archioli and Nichols tussle for it, falls out to Mearns. Current Ferns has it now, gives it to McEwen, who tries to turn Rumney. And he opts um, to go back to In Eden. terms of Olympia, would like to say that they're more than a one man team. And if Zebras are willing to put a lot of attention into Cabello, they just. I, I think McNeil thinks uh, Cabello is a player of great quality, I think he just tells him to drive through it and keep working hard and keep working Ethan back. Angles has been lively, out to Martioli, the Ferns, who puts it over the top to McEwen. McEwen now inside the box, what can you do? Puts the ball to the back post. Seeps in. Ralph sends it in. Oh, goal time! Alex Rao! Brilliant free kick. Ferguson was all at sea with that one. He was well off his line, was uh, Matty Ferguson, he tried to backtrack. The Warriors crowd getting far too excited there in the stands. It was a, an ambitious ball from round. As I say, that Zebras look through on the left side, plays into Engels, and Engels fires into the left side of the net. If you don't mind, Zebras won all. Nice bit of work by Lazinski to play it into Ethan Engels. And Ethan Engels, we know he has a nose for goal. He puts it in, just in, tucked it inside the right. Touches almost down, he goes out wide to Curran Ferns on the left. Goes down further to McEwen. He's running in an overlap fashion. His uh, ferns. He gets to it. Tries to get a crosser. He nutmegs Benny Phillips there. He sends the ball in. Second effort. Knocked off from McEwen. Got a chance to hit it from the box, but it's blocked. Falls to Ferns. Top of the box. Hits it early on the volley, and it's in. Current Ferns is in. Nesta could only tap it on. Current Ferns has just passed out in the middle of the field. Not a bad goal, boys. <laughs> He's just. Come from about yeah, 23 yards, yards, I reckon. He does fall back to Merge in the middle, though. Marshall gets a tackle and it falls to McEwen. Lazinski now with the ball, back to goal, plays it away on the right hand side. Current with the ball, plays it forward with Ethan Engels now. One on one with John O'Griffiths, plays it forward. Dwayne Walsh is through here, tries to get across in, tries to take on Vandermeer, and Vandermeer is still playing the second half. Always. Cabello with the free kick with quite a theatrical dive. Turns the one that's given away the foul. Definitely not as much contact as he made out, but it probably was a foul. Is, uh, the referee he wants to have a word on his ferns before he restarts the game. They just need someone to take control of the game, to get their foot on the ball, and start holding it up and knocking around their own tempo. At the moment, it's yeah, 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 yeah. a big turnaround from a Monday as McEwen comes forward here, jockeyed well by a sea of blue. Gives it up to Mark Yoli, who goes back to Ferns. Great intensity from the Zebras. Lazuski with it now on the left, goes inboard to McEwen. Pressured well by Nick Mearns, but Mazinski still has it. Ingles sends in a cross at the back Good place to Meredith. Solomon from Kern Ingles. What can he do? Dinks the ball in the centre. Great ball. Lazinski, Amazon pass. Nesta. Zebras, there you go. 3 1. A great bit of work from Kern Ingles. The steal. Nice curling ball in the centre. Trapped down by Lazinski, and he beats yeah, Nesta right, with a. Ferns does well to win the header. Lazinski should rise. Chest beautifully up against Ferns. Oh, Jump into one there. Chest. Ferns wins it back off him though. It's now with all oh, Ferns. A nice little bit of trickery on the right hand side. Plays it inside to Ethan Engels. Oh, he's been taken out Clears late out by Nick Ferns. Ferns and Mearns. And Talega gets his first touch. Goes to Ferns. He turns around Cabello and he's muscled over by uh, Nick Mearns. Uh, Jimmy Hall will probably look to go for a card there, but I think he's just getting, going to give uh, young Nick Mearns a bit of a it's going to look, Albert Lazinski is away here. John O'Griffin's coming with a lot of speed. Yeah. Oh, Lazinski's got a chance. He's held the ball up and held it back. Benny Whitehall, first game back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Benny, Benny Whitehall! 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 White noise, Whitehall. Pally Kent, Ben Whitehall pops it away. Yeah. 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 As they play it forward, Ferns gets it through. Talaga in the box, chest across. Does kick it back a little bit. Lazinski off, great touch around the first defender. Taps it with the toe, jumps over the defender. And I, I promise that current first. Yeah. Got his foot on the ball, hardly giving the ball away. Won a lot of headers. Um, and his goal really kicks out of this half. As Zebras are attacking now. Henry Fag in a good position, got a chance to go forward. Burns is making a run. Fag hits it. Straight to the grateful oh, hands of Nesta. Look like first involvement. Mm. Yeah. Zebra's ball now as Ferns looks through. He's injuring the box on the right side. He's got Engels in board. He finds him. Engels lets it run. Comes to Lazinski and he fires wide. A golden chance from Zebra's goes begging. Second half with discipline, everyone did their job. Did Ferns sort of show what you missed on Monday? He was pretty influential tonight, I thought. He's a very skillful player. 
I mean, that's why he was brought down here because he can play football. Yeah. He's, he's cool, he's skillful, talented. Yeah. Will Ferguson retain his place? We're going to have a chat with him. <laughs> but Ferg is his biggest, his own critic. By Pooley, he throws out, finds Braxton and plays it down to Tinsley Anderson. Yeah. Gets it by Walsh, but it's cut off by Ferns, plays to Walsh. The Rangers throwing early, taken early by Brassington. Ooh. Decent head clash there by Curran Ferns and Anderson. Yeah, shoulder Anderson. Bag throws down goal. into the centre to Lazinski. Gets a little touch on it. Comes to Ferns. Ferns dinks inside of Tumor. He's still got a Ferns as he oh. enters the box, but a timely challenge from Pat Lanoak and seizes out to Marcioli. Still alive though, the Zebras sends across to the back. Oh. Headed in by Ferns to the bottom right corner. Great goal by the Zebras, and they go further ahead. It's a, a great little run there by McCurran. He Obviously, he got in top of the box, but he, he did snuff, and it came out uh, into the middle of the park, and it was well collected by, by Chell, and a great ball. Tog Hill throws in, finds Ferns. Ferns controls well, feeds forward. McEwen dishes on to Lezinski. Feeds it back to McEwen. It almost comes out. Tog Hill now on the right. Puts it through, looking for Ferns. He just puts it back into Tokyo very cheaply there from Curran Ferns. Puts it into the middle, finds Lazinski. Lazinski feeds Ferns well. Ferns swings around the other side, picks up to the Lions, to Young. Young looks to play it forward and find the feet of Pierce, but Ferns meets it first. Goes to Lazinski, he goes back to Whitehall. We look to whip it in. Got a bit of time and space to do so. Finds McEwen at the edge of the box. He skips into the box. He's got this one. Too easy, Adam McEwen. They come out with it through Turner now. He puts through. Looking, uh, I think it was for Vidal, but it's intercepted. And Ferns comes out with it now for the Zebras. He comes forward very well. Maraudering run. Ethan Ingles puts it through to Ferns, who is offside. Not comes to Turner. Retreats. Goes to Scudder, who puts it along to Turner. Stolen off him by Ferns. He's got fielding offering wide. He cuts in. Finds McEwen there on here. Take a ticket. Finds Ferns. Oh, no. He's offside. The Ze Looking for Dean Watkins. He looked for uh, Danny Cole, but it was intercepted well by Curran Ferns. Get wide to Watkins. A bit of a one-two cheeky there between the pair. And Ferns lays in a nice slide tackle on Turner. There's a bit of composure here. Courtney now into... Uh, Ferns, and I think Louis Vidal has gone down with Cramp for a third time, so he may have to uh, make way soon if he can't see out the rest of the game. He is limping a little bit on the jog. In the meantime, Josh Fielding goes across to uh, Russell Courtney. Now Ferns on the ball. He puts it down the line to Tokyo. Back to Ferns. He's got McKeown in close. He opts to, him, opts to go to him. He doesn't catch the shot at all. Lacked uh, any real venom. Ferguson now, he throws or oh, passes it out to Ferns. Courtney goes back to Ferguson. And back out to Courtney on the left. The Zebras look to uh, get a bit of pace going forward. Lezinski on it, puts through Tog Hill. Back to Lezinski, who's playing a pretty defensive role, I must say, Gilly, in the uh, f uh, closing stages of this match. Ferns on the ball now, he comes forward. A bit of space for the Zebras now, but a lot of players behind the ball for the Lions. Which is quite surprising if you know, but it's Fag who's unmarked. He sends in a first time cross, headed clear by Joe Davis. Curran Ferns has an ambitious strike from that the Victory Cup in a couple of weeks. Long ball from uh, Duncan, headed down by Ferns. McEwen on the ball now, looks to put through Ingles, intercepted well by the Stork. Ferns on the ball now, goes back to Tog Hill. Again, Ferns back out to Tog Hill, and he goes very uh, very clever from the boys up at Valley Road. Corner comes in from Ferns, very deep. Head Retrieves the ball, him. plays it into the middle, runs through the legs of McEwen, a nice bit of work from him, and then Ferns does really well to beat a couple. He's out on the right of the sub.
Sends in a low drive, looking for his brother. He's got it off the poor touch of Thorne there. Ethan Inglis has had a strike. Good cool save there. It'll be fagged to take quickly. Puts out the left, finds Lezinski, who's a long way from home. Knocks into Ferns. Ferns chips a ball back to the back post, looking for Whitehall. It ends up getting to him. Chips a ball in the centre, and it's headed in by Ethan Ingles. First half hat trick. Ethan Ferguson out to fag, takes a touch to Ferns. All these Fs are driving me crazy. Ferns puts it forward. Trapped by Clay, but not trapped well enough. Ingles gets it and chips a delightful goal. Walsh comes out from the pass for Ferns now. Full space, chips it over. McEwen's waiting, headed clear by Chilcott. Pulls that to Walsh, who has a strike! Oh! Walsh, Clay Walsh! What an absolutely super sizzling! He trees it back. Plays across to the Juvon. There's pressure all across the park from the Zebras. Comes out the Foos. He tries a shot from downtown. Puts it two metres wide. He touches it down, puts it across to Ferns on the edge of the 18. He has a strike. Good shot. And even since being introduced, plays it back to Ferns, who spreads across to the right to McEwen. Looks out to the right of uh, Phillips and then goes back into the centre. And Whitehall has a strike. Three to Ferns. They're on here, the Zebras. Ferns looks in board. He's looking for a bit of space to have a shot in the in the end. He passes off to Whitehall. And he blasts it into the back of the net by Nestor. Oh, he puts it through. Penalty handball. The side has had the upper hand. Yeah, Tog Hill having a little bit of trouble here on the left, just keeping possession, gifting it back to South Hobart a little bit. I think Ferns has been really good early on for them. I, I think I've been continually impressed with him throughout the season. He's come of age in the Zebras team, I reckon. Plays a really nice defensive role for them and, and turns things around and gets them into attack. He's got a bit of a last samurai about him with that hairdo as well, Gilly. Uh, top knot, bun, if you will. Um, as South Hobart come in through Ludlow, looks to play into the feet of man. Dinks it forward, nobody home but Russell Courtney. Takes a touch, measures a pass to Ferns. Ferns does well, ping pongs are back to... Fielding and out on the right they go. Dwayne side of McEwen threads it through. Finds Andy. Well taken off him by Courtney. Geez, he's good. Gets it to Ferns. Ferns feeds McEwen. Defence. Plays forward to Hunt. It's not the best ball from Ludford. It's let in Ferns. Well, he's held up nicely as Ferns. He's got it across to McEwen. Lovely bit of work there from Curran Ferns. And got a bit ahead of himself, I think, as the ball's tipped to McEwen. Comes to Ferns. Back to McEwen. Clark in a lot of space here, uses him. He's up to that one, good awareness from the keeper. Rolls it out to Ferns, he gives it back to Henry Fagg. Fielding on the ball now, skips around a couple of our Heads down to Ludlow, gets it through to Brennan. Ferns intervenes, does well. To me, but geez, Brennan's keeping his on, him honest, running back hard to Ferns. Who's got to, they've got to give him the ball more, he's a talented player. He puts it back to Courtney. KG5, he goes down, backwards down the line to Fag, see if he can whip it in, he does, at the back post, anyone waiting, Ferns gets ahead to it, oh, nearly hits the roof of the netting, that one from Curran Ferns. Could do quite a few K I reckon, as it's played out to Ferns, beyond halfway, back to Lime Cordial, puts it into Ferns on, in the centre circle, he switches it out on the left, Tobart on the Zebra's defence, the back four will be absolutely shagged at the end of this one. Ferns coming down the left now. A little bit of respite for the Zebras' uh, defensive half. It spills out, out to uh, McEwen here. Lamont over commits. On the left, though, he's very wide. Can you get the cross? Puts it into Ferns. He dishes that back out. 1-2 to Tokyo Into Fag. Nice little 1-2 there. Ferns on it. Puts it into Lezinski. Tries to put down McEwen on the left. As, as Andy looks to put it out on the right. Two man cut off by Tog Hill. Gets it the other way to Ferns. Ferns finds Whitehall well. Whitehall looks to skip by one and, and run it down. Just a great spectacle, but uh, that remains to be seen. Ferns on the ball now on the left for the Zebras. He skips it around. Hay sends in a cross. A few Zebra shirts lurking as well, but it's cleared out. Full time here at KG5 Football Park.
Ball into the box. Comes to Stearns. He puts it across to the back. Soccer and the Victory League title could be sealed this week if South Hobart defeat second place Zebras. But the black and white won't die wondering. Fresh off a seven game winning streak, they say it's South who should be nervous. They might be concerned about picking up injuries, they might be concerned about, they might think well they've got six points. They, don't, might, they might think they don't have to win. You know, it's, it's an interesting psychological position for them. Midfielder Curran Ferns left south for Zebras and has one piece of advice for his new coach on how to stop the juggernaut. Keep an eye on Brady Man. He's the best player in the league, let's be honest. You know, when he was at Devonport last year, he carried them to second place. You know, if we can isolate him and even Andy Brennan, you know, then I think it just comes down to the middle of the park. Athletic.